welcome back to Dig the Game, and I am about to play Breath Edge. And just reading the warning disclaimer in the beginning, this game's coming out swinging. I, I think this is going to be some fun, but warning, this game is of a hubris nature and does not seek to offend anyone. All the characters and events in the game are fictitious, even if they're not. There may be strong language and scenes of violence in the game, at least we hope so. Empty. Standard. Permadeath. No hints, there is no point in wasting your time with this one. <laughs> Let's play. Ooh la la, I like that. Try not to urinate on electrical appliances and bare wires. <laughs> I'm in love. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, trying to... Searching for this font took up half the development time. <laughs> The Red Ruin software team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases, and therefore we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. No! Let them smoke! I don't want censorship. <laughs> it's a smoking robot. Here you are again. Did you remind him, R2-D3? Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. <laughs> oh, green universe, broccoli attack. I can't I can't read all that. It's too, too fast. Oh no! Oh, oh, that, that, that's not good. What in the... Is that a different ship that it crashed into? Oxygen stations simplify space exploration. I wonder where to find them. Hmm. I'm digging the artwork, though. <laughs> Suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. Okay, so I work for a funeral company. All right, plug the gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> to stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> okay. I gotta take the gun. Picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Stick it somewhere except for your face. Okay, so let's take the chicken. <laughs> you deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. <laughs> Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Ooh. Ooh. Pro pro processor. Ugh. <laughs> What's this? Drill blueprint? Take it. you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources. Probably. Interphone. Find the interphone or get depressed. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. Summer 2008. Tick. Don't forget to feed the chicken. <laughs> we gotta check the antenna. I love you, the chicken. What the? <laughs> I've always been good looking, although my beard was not as thick in my childhood. By the age of three, it got better. <laughs> okay, I don't want to keep picking up everything. Antenna, repair the antenna, okay? Right, we gotta go out into space. Cigarettes. You can light bonfires with them, wash blood stains off shirts, paint fences, and feed ducks? <laughs> feed ducks cigarettes? <laughs> what? Uh, so that must be me and Grandpa. Okay, we got some fabric. Okay, we a are in of increased space. radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. 
Whoa. You need a handy scrap scraper? Scrapper? Nutrition package. I have no idea what this stuff ice. Let's find this antenna. Oh this this game is just great. I, I love the humor aspect of it. That it's, was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. Oh crap. <laughs> You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes which are encrypted in the memory of this. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Okay, I think I need air. Oh, okay, my health is uh, is hurting. So we, we eat and drink. Wow, okay. Um, my health isn't coming back. Shoot. Okay, I don't have any videotapes. Oh wait, there's a tape. Survival guy. <laughs> Take. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Watch our breath meter. Okay. Great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Is that the movie? Oh, onboard radio. Okay, that's what was going on. Create a debugging station? Um, is that here? Aha, I need metal and wire. Assuming I have to get those out in space then. Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Okay. The covered in blood. The victim is also stained in blood. Probably, the hammer accidentally got stained by the victim. What are you? It is unlikely that he suffocated from this, being in a spacesuit where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Shears. Oh, a piece of... There's metal. Okay, so we found metal. Now we just need to find wire. Oh, wire, wire, wire. that ah wiring I got wire sweet so that's what it looks like oh there's just there's just so much stuff floating around I want to collect everything build this thing the strangely shaped balloon has extra strength and elasticity you can pump it up with oxygen there won't be much of it but it would be enough for one breath if it doesn't pop oh golly all right Pick up the debugging station. Oh, there we go. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. <laughs> Debug. <laughs> Call for help. 
A rescue shuttle Hope has been sent. The rescuer's arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Ah, the handy scrapper. Ah, now I can tear stuff apart. Objects. Stations. Crap imposed by the developers. <laughs> Incredible. Nice. Survived one. I see your avatar online. Nice. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. Oh, there we go. Babe. Oh, come on. I can't. Okay, so I need to get refined metal. So that probably means I need to use the scrapper. I see dangerous place on the radar. There's many life-giving oxen. Many life-giving oxen. You cannot fly there. If you suddenly smoke there, you can explode. I couldn't read all of it. Oh, that's aluminum, and I need a drill. Light bulb. Need refined metal. Refined metal, where are you? Freezing danger, okay. We do not have the health for anything stupid. Wait, can I can I make refined metal with the metal scraps? You still alive? I cannot name my coordinates. But there is debris here and there's enough debris on the left. You have to help, I beg you. Quick fly something something something. Now I'm going to go in, see if I can use the, the metal that I collected to make refined metal. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I got to do. Refined metal. <sighs> Crap. So I just need to gather a little bit more metal, but I'm going to have to build another one of those uh, handy scrappers. No, I can probably collect it from the little metal things. A coffee mug? <laughs> The handle is there. Forgive my accent. Humanity fly all over the galaxy, but never make a good translator. Are you saving me? I want to save you, but I don't know how to get to you. The rescuer spacesuits are like funerary ones, but I always wanted to learn how their flashlights work as they don't require recharging. I propose we loot the corpse for scientific purposes. We loot the corpse for scientific purposes. Okay, I got a flashlight. On my monitor, the signals of the rescue shuttles appeared. Create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in your hands. Okay. The electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. <laughs> Install or hit yourself? Hit myself. Oh, crap! I wonder, can I rest a back scratcher? That's how I get my health. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I nearly killed myself with that thing. I feel a little bit better. Oh, there's no way I'm going to make it to that. I have big bust and slender legs. I wanted you to know and motivate to save me. <laughs> I want to save this babe, but I have no idea how to get to her. There was that oxygen thing. I see some gas leaking. There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. So maybe that's how I get over to it. Make the oxygen balloons. Inflated, smooth, beautiful, reusable, universal cylinder. A miraculous engineering idea performed in warm condom tones. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, we can make, make these nutrition packs. Are not you married? I am not yet, but very much to want. If we survive, we could go on date. Are you saving me? Ah, uh, how do I call? 
there, there's something else going on there. <laughs> oh, I got a battery. Okay, so you kill the radios to get the battery. So we're figuring things out here. We're getting some progress going. I, I'm loving this game. This is just, it's hilarious and it's fun. And it's like all the elements of the survival games I love to play mixed with a whole bunch of good humor. Hit myself. Oh crap! <laughs> 